Welcome to the McDonald Jones home, St. Clair 34 2. Let me take you on a tour today. and welcome to my channel. I wanted to take you on a sneaky tour of this home since I am now an employee of McDonald Jones Homes and I can show you all the ins and outs of this amazing property. The Sinclair 34-2 fits on a 12 metre wide block and it's on display here at Willowdale with the Dover facade. It's stunning and the inside styling is definitely something you want to check out. So I'll leave the address in the description box below for you and show you through the house and now. So we'll start in the front of the home just as you enter the home to the left hand side is this lovely square set that we've styled as a study room but you can style it or use it in a variety of functions it does bring a great natural light into the front of the home with this huge window and it's a great little entry sitting room too if you want to use it as a sitting room a storage room or like we have a study beyond the entry you'll follow the hall up the rest of the house in this little area, you'll have three doors, the first of which is going to be this storage space that can be used for linen. Next to that is going to be the downstairs guest bathroom. This is a gorgeous space and you've got a lovely vanity or with a large mirror to let that light bounce around the room in there as well. And floor to ceiling tiling with this white marble finish. The space is really generous for a spare bathroom for guests and looks stunning with the big mirror bouncing the natural light around. Next to that door, you'll find the doorway to your laundry, again located downstairs and with the external access of the really large double sliding door, you'll be able to get out there and hang your clothes out and move in and out with a clothes basket with ease. It also lets, again, a lot of natural light into this particular space and it makes even a better use of this uh, light with the white cabinetry we've added in here too. You can see a lovely feature in the light LED stripping loop placed underneath the upper cabinetry and again this continues through some of the other cabinetry in the home in the kitchen. I love the way that this particular laundry has been styled with the black tapware that matches again the black handles throughout the home and some of the other black accents in the different finishes and fixtures. Alright, let's head up the hallway and I'll show you the next few doors. The doorway across the hall is just your access to your double car garage and then across from that is another storage space which is your understair storage. Now this space is great to use for coats in winter or storing those extra items that you just don't want to clutter up the home and again it's a great use of space being snuck under the stairs there. While we're heading down this hallway, I'd love to draw your attention to the flooring in here. Now they've gone to a huge amount of effort to lay this timber flooring in a herringbone pattern and it looks stunning as you walk up the hallway and through the rest of the downstairs. Another beautiful feature in the home is the extra thick skirting boards that have been used here and the feature cornicing on the roof above. Definitely something you should pay attention to when you look at this display home. And then following down the rest of this hallway, a lovely wide opening brings you into the home theatre. Now this space is gorgeous and makes really good use of the space. You can fit a huge couch in this particular space and plenty of people can fit in this room. You could use it for a different reason if you didn't want a home theatre space, but I think it is definitely perfect for that. Again, being quite far away from the bedrooms, which are all located upstairs and all your living space downstairs. I'm going to take you to the back of the home now, which really opens up right out into the living space and the alfresco outdoor entertaining area.
This four bedroom and two and a half bathroom home has a huge living space to complement those rooms out the back of the home. You've got a lovely area that you've set up as a sitting space opposite the kitchen downstairs. And I imagine most families that end up putting a TV against this wall and using this really to hang out with friends and family. Opposite this living space is going to be this stunning kitchen. This is honestly one of my favorite kitchens on display and it's one that you could really bring into your own home and make your own. The colors are quite neutral using a lot of white through the space and black tapware. And as you can see, you could swap out the decor in here quite easily to give it a completely different look and feel and make it your own. I love the exposed range hood with the full height tiling again here to match some of the other areas in the home. And again, that lighting underneath that upper cabinetry gives a really nice feature, especially at the night time when you just want low light in the space. The freestanding cooktop and oven is again a beautiful feature in this home paired with the range hood and does really make a statement for those true people that love to stick around in the kitchen and cook up some great meals. Off the kitchen, you've got the dining space. This can be considered more of your formal dining space and has been set up here in such a lovely way. It's got a six seater table here with really large chairs and the space still has plenty of room around it to move chairs in and out and even have a buffet for more storage of bigger things like your platters. We've popped a mirror here opposite the windows to again bounce that natural light around and make the space feel even bigger and grander. This space is even more beautiful when you look out the amazing picture window at the back of the home. If you've got a gorgeous backyard or something stunning to look out to there, or you set it up with some nice gardens, it really does make a statement. Off this dining space and kind of hugging the living area as well, is this alfresco that is completely undercover with the upstairs of the home. We've popped in the bifold doors with the white finish on them to complement the styling in the space even better. And we've continued the deck past the end of the home here during our landscaping to really extend the space out further. Again, this little gazebo section has been done during the landscaping and it's really created a lovely entertaining area to have both a dining space and an informal seating area to sit down with friends and family. One of my favorite features in this particular home is the exterior rendering and the color that it's come out at. Now, a McDonald Jones home can be built out of either brick or hebel. And if you want that fully rendered finish on your house, hebel is a great product because we render over the entire house. So you can pick what color you'd like your rendering to be and add that into your home as well. All right, I've got one more special piece of this house to show you downstairs that is amazing. Now let me show you my second favorite part of this particular design, the storage area of the kitchen that we've set up as a butler's pantry. It has an integrated fridge that's part of this cabinetry, along with the integrated dishwasher we've included on this display home. They are so integrated that when they close, they really just look like part of the cabinetry in the home and not like appliances at all. Behind this fridge, you've then got a huge amount of storage for your food and appliances in the pantry section. And this comes with all the shelving included too. We've then set up the butler's pantry. It has open storage above, which is really great for storing things like cookbooks as well. And then you've got another bench space here, which is my favorite spot to put your coffee machine or your toaster like we have done here. Again, more storage down below and a sink is included. We've also gone to the effort to pop in the backsplash window here too, which is letting a great amount of natural light into the space. All right, I'm gonna show you upstairs in this house and it is definitely one you wanna stick around for. So let me take you up there now. So the staircase in this home is a U-shaped staircase with a landing platform in the middle of it. We've popped in some huge windows to let more natural light through into this big open void space that joins the upstairs and the downstairs together. When you come up from this stair space, you go into the living space we've created upstairs here. 
Now this is a great spot to hang out with family and play a board game or sit up here and watch some TV later at night if you still want to be near the bedrooms. If we go to the front of the home you'll actually find the master suite but before I take you to that special piece I'm going to show you the kids bedrooms out the back. Down this hallway we've got three bedrooms, a bathroom and separate toilet and a walk-in linen. So the first doorway to the right is going to show you into the separate toilet that again has its own basin and next to that is going to be the bathroom. As you can see in here we've gone to the effort of putting all the fixtures in the matte black colouring and we've even done the shower frame and the rain shower head in here too in that same matte black. Again, huge windows and huge mirrors, which is a pretty standard item in the McDonald Jones homes that are really creating the look and feel of a lovely airy open space. We've gone to the effort of doing the floor to ceiling tiling. Again, that same white marble tile that you see downstairs in the powder room as well. Off this particular bathroom, you'll find to the right your walk-in linen. And I don't think anyone has enough linen quite to fill this particular space. It is huge, which is lovely and uh, great to have a good amount of storage in a home of this size. Moving further down the hallway, almost opposite this doorway, is going to be the first of three bedrooms. And my favorite feature in this house is that every single bedroom gets a full walk-in robe. So if you have children with lots and lots of clothing or you yourself think you might need a little bit more storage in the home, then every single bedroom has a wardrobe just like this one. I'm going to show you through the rest of those two bedrooms and then to the master bedroom to finish. All right, two more bedrooms at the back of the home for the children. And again, with that lovely walk-in robe and nice natural light coming through the big window space, you can fit queen-size beds and even king-size beds in here with not a problem at all. In between the two bedrooms at the end of the hallway, we've created this little study nook space. Now this has a good opportunity as well to let more natural light into the hall with the window we've added there, but you could add an even bigger window if you wanted more of that light coming through. The third bedroom for the children is opposite the other one at the back of the home. And it has again the massive walk-in robe. Your kids will never be complaining that they don't have enough storage space to keep their rooms nice and clean. Okay, now let's head through to the master suite. I know you have all been waiting for this. So the master bedroom takes up the entire width of this home along the front. It even has on display here a lovely balcony right at the front of the home. So if you have views from this side of the home as well, you can definitely take them in from the balcony that you get off the master. So we've placed a feature wall, which makes quite an impact on this room behind the master bed. But I'd love to hear down in the comment box below what you would do for a feature wall in this room. Personally myself, I think some lovely wallpaper with some texture on it, maybe some silver tones, would look stunning in the space. But I'd love to hear how you would do it in the home too, so don't forget to sound off in the comment box below. Alright, behind this other glossy black door, which I have to say as well, I love the look of these gloss doors, is a lovely generous walk-in robe for the master. 
Again, huge amount of space and there won't be any room to fight over his or hers in here because there are a total of four walk-in robes on the first floor of this particular home. All right, I'm gonna take you across to the other side of the upstairs front to show you a spectacular ensuite. Come with me. Now, if you love a decadent bathroom, this particular one will suit your taste down to a T. It is huge in here with a lot of open space. The space is really helped by the fact that they've gone for a freestanding bath over here with this big open recess looking through to the master. Now, if it was me in this particular build, I would have put something like some shutters in that space, but you could keep it as a closed in wall if you wanted to as well. Again, massive windows are letting a huge amount of natural light in and then floor to ceiling, white marble tiles throughout the rest of the home that we've seen and continued in here. And that white is really helping make the space lighter and brighter. The shower is huge and could probably do with an extra shower head uh, if it was up to me. We've also opted to put a shower shelf in there which is a great alternative to a recess. It gives a nice slick look, quite clean, and if you've got a huge amount of bottles in your shower, you are not going to be able to fill that very fast. Hidden behind the door is your toilet which has its own window in the space as well. And then this beautiful triple vanity with storage underneath, the two basins that are sat on top and the beautiful black tapware that I'm loving in this particular home. Again, putting a mirror opposite that window is bouncing that light around and being right at the front of the home, it gets beautiful sunlight right in the morning. Thank you so much for joining me for this house tour of the Sinclair 34-2 by McDonald Jones Homes on display here at Willowdale. I will leave the address of this particular home in the description box below for you and I'll link up above here for you now through to my playlist where I do a variety of other house tours by McDonald Jones as well. If you like this video and want to see more like it, don't forget to head down below and hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up while you're down there for me too. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment box below and I'd be happy to answer any of them for you. Otherwise, I will see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.